Hey guys, this is David and it is Two Minute Tuesday. And let's get started right now. First Samuel chapter 10, I believe it's verse five. It says, and this is Samuel talking to Saul. And he says, when you go into the hill of God, there will be a Philistine camp or a Philistine garrison. Another word for garrison is stronghold. Uh, why is there a Philistine stronghold or an enemy stronghold? On the hill of God, I believe when the Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, that in all things are holy unto him and that he is Jehovah Shema, God in all things, that there is not one area where God can't move and that God doesn't desire to move. Matthew 28, go into all the world and preach the gospel. I think when we think of Matthew 28, when we think of geography, Europe, South and North America, Africa, Asia, India, Pakistan, Burma, Afghanistan, Thailand, Nepal, and Bhutan. But we don't necessarily think of going to Wall Street, going to Hollywood, going to Bollywood. When I was growing up, I remember hearing pastors and Christian leaders that would say that it was uh, not a good idea for Christians to work in Hollywood or and go to Broadway or to go into being a lawyer or being in the government because any person that was in those spheres of society, they would have to say or do things that would cause their testimony or their witness to fall. So what do we have now? We have a generation that don't know who Jesus is, but they're influencing society in such a secular way. There are a lack of believers that are there to be his voice and to be his feet and to share because we We've told the generation, don't go there. I think God is calling people, his people, to these places to be disciple makers, to go into all the world as we hear and to share this gospel. I don't think Hollywood is necessarily running to the churches. I don't think Wall Street is running to these churches, but I do believe that God's gonna send someone who has his spirit, who's on fire for him, who's willing to be his voice into Wall Street, into Hollywood, into the NBA, to be his voice, to share his love, and to be a minister of reconciliation, healing to those who are hurting and broken. So guys, I wanna encourage you, follow those dreams because not only do those dreams help you come alive as I shared last week in that Two Minute Tuesday, but I believe your dream is also connected to his dream. I believe it is also connected to the aspect of discipleship, to go into all the world, that God might make you a disciple to the people he's calling you to. Guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. I hope it blessed you, I hope it encouraged you. If it did, I'm gonna say the thing that all YouTubers and, and influencers say, like this video, destroy the like button, and smash the subscribe button, uh, hit the subscribe button, subscribe, you should subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to him. I, I feel cringy saying that, but share this video if it blessed you as well. Talk to you later.